In today's lesson, we want to look at some algorithms for polynomial division. So we're looking at this first example, 4x cubed minus 25x plus 10, and what happens when it's divided by 2x minus 5. We're going to show you two ways to do this. Both ways, however, require all the terms of the polynomial to be in there. You'll notice there's no x squared. So what we have to do here is add an x squared term to our algorithm. So setting up the algorithm, we want to see how many times that linear polynomial goes into this cubic polynomial. We have no x squared term, so we put 0x squared. And the rest of the terms are in order of descending power of the variable. Now how it works is like this. We try and think of a number to multiply 2x by to get 4x cubed. So that would be 2x squared. And we keep that in the x squared column. Then we multiply this through the divisor. 2x squared times 2x gives us 4x cubed. 2x squared times negative 5 gives us negative 10x squared. And like long division, we do the subtraction to see what the remainder is. Of course, we chose that so the cubes disappear. Got to be careful with signs here. 0x squared minus minus. 10x squared, a minus and a minus is re replaced with a plus, so we have 10x squared. And then we bring the next term down. Okay, so now we do it again, same process. A number or term times 2x to give 10x squared. Well, that have to be positive 5x, so we keep that lined up in the x column. And then we multiply positive 5x by the divisor. Positive 5x times 2x give us, gives us the 10x squared that we want to eliminate. 5x times minus 5 is minus 25x. So we do the subtraction. The 10x squared terms disappear. And in this case, so does the x terms because a minus and a minus becomes a plus. Minus 25x plus 25x is 0x. Bring, bring the next term down, which is positive 10. Something times 2x to get 0x, well, that's a 0. We'll put it in for completion. So that gives us the 0x that we need, uh, plus 0, because negative 5 times 0 is 0. Subtract gives us a remainder of 10. So now we can rewrite this. We take our dividend, we don't need to um, write the zero term in it, um, and it was being divided by uh, 2x minus 5, and that's equal to the quotient 2x squared plus 5x, and I don't need to put the plus zero in, plus a remainder of 10, and uh, out of the 2x minus 5 we divided by it. And we can rewrite this in another way by multiplying everything uh, by the divisor. So we just multiply all uh, by 2x uh, minus 5 to give us another form of our answer. So we have the dividend is equal to minus 25x plus 10 gives us the um, quotient. I could take that x out of the quotient. But I'll just leave it how it is. It's being multiplied by the divisor. And when I multiply this last term by the divisor, the divisors cancel out, leaving the positive 10. There's another algorithm that's quite good that I'll show you now. Again, we start off by writing our dividend uh, with a descending power. So we do need to add in that 0x squared. Uh, minus 25x plus 10. Now this will partially factorise into three of these linear 
uh, divisors. So we put three of these in, and uh, once we've done that, we're going to you're going to see a connection between the previous method. We're thinking of something in front of this bracket, um, so that when I multiply the bracket, I get four x cubed. So this needs to be two x squared, and I go ahead and I multiply. So that gives me the 4x cubed that I need. Then I multiply. The second term is minus 10x squared. Now over here I have 0x squared. So what I'm looking for is something to put in front, front of this next bracket so that it will collect with minus 10x squared to give 0x squared. So that will have to be a positive 5x. So when I multiply that out, that gives me the plus 10x squared and I multiply the second term gives me minus 25x. You can see these two things grouped together give me the 0x squared I was after over here. Now I need something in front of this bracket so that when it multiplies out with the x term I get um, minus 25x. I've already got it so in fact all I need here is a 0x. Put it in for completion. Sorry, I don't need the x, 0. So when I multiply that out, I get plus 0x. And when I multiply that second term, I get 0 as well. So that takes care of all the things I need. I have the minus 25x. What I don't have is the uh, remainder of 10, because I've only got 0 here, so I add 10 on to the end. Now I look at these blue brackets there in common, so that's the highest common factor for that part of the expression. So I can rewrite uh, this side. I don't need that 0x squared anymore. Uh, so I just write the dividend. I have the highest common factor as the divisor. What goes in the second bracket? Well, it's all these things that are in front of the divisor here, but I don't need the 0 there. So it'll be 2x squared plus 5x. And don't forget the plus 10 on the end. You can see that's the same form as before.